All right, spring is here, but summer's just around the corner, and I've got three fragrances I'm going to talk to you about today from Dolce & Gabbana. I don't speak a lot about this house, but these three fragrances kind of intrigued me because of their bottles, so I'm talking about them. This is the Dolce & Gabbana Fruit Collection and features three fragrances, one focusing on lemons, one focusing on oranges, and the other one, pineapple. So I'll let you know all about these three fragrances, prices, per mil prices, all of that good stuff and how they wear all coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. Yes, I do like fruity fragrances and I love citrus fragrances. And these fragrances did intrigue me. Here is lemon. This is part of the fruit collection. Here is orange. And then finally, here is pineapple. So what do I think about these three fragrances? And as I said earlier, I don't speak a lot about Dolce & Gabbana. It's not a house that I uh, speak highly of because I don't have a lot of favorite fragrances in this house. But these did intrigue me and I really do like the caps uh, of these fragrances. They're kind of fun. And I love citrus fragrances and of course fruity fragrances. Pineapple is one of my favorite fruits. I love anything pineapple cocktail. So that's why this one as a pineapple fragrance did intrigue me. They're not that expensive. They're also not that inexpensive. So, so they're kind of in the middle. And the bottles are 150 ml size. So I don't see them in stores currently here. Uh, in, uh, you know, like retailers that we would shop at. They are definitely sold at the Dolce & Gabbana stores, uh, boutiques. That's where you would be able to buy them. So I'll let you know all about these uh, three fragrances. They'll be perfect for summer. But before I do, if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you still haven't subscribed, please do click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So who is a fan of Dolce & Gabbana as a house? Are you a fan? Do you enjoy their fragrances? And if so, what are your favorite Dolce & Dolce & Gabbana fragrances. So the fruit collection was launched in 2021 and they're eau de toilette concentration so they're not eau de parfum and to me um, citruses eau de toilette kind of go hand in hand it's fine but if you want long-lasting uh, you know citrus or fruity fragrances I prefer them to be at least eau de parfum uh, concentration and the fact that these are priced higher 150 ml bottles 190 which boils down to $1.38 per mil, I was wishing that they would be uh, an, at least an eau de parfum concentration so that they'd have a little bit of a longer longevity. Again, I'm talking about longevity here today, but I'm kind of trying to make a point about the concentration of these fragrances and all that good stuff. So the three fragrances are created by two different perfumers. Two fragrances, the two citrus fruits, lemon and orange, were is created by Jerome Epinay. I think he does, uh, he's a very well-known perfumer. He's done a lot of fragrances for Diptyque, I think, and various other brands. And the pineapple is created by Marie Salamagna, and she is a uh, perfumer for Atelier d'Azor's fragrances. And of course, I see her doing lots of fragrances for different houses. So two different perfumers, as I said. And let's talk about the lemon one first. Dolce & Gabbana Fruit Collection Lemon. How many of you enjoy lemon and fragrances? So this is a 2021 launch. Jerome Epinay is uh, the perfumer. It's considered a citrus fragrance. Yes, it's a lemon. And it features notes of lemons, bergamot, pettigran, ginger, vetiver. And, uh, you know, it wears like that. And I was kind of hoping that it would be a little more tart, a little more sour experience. So there's some sweetness there that made the fragrance you know, a little more cozy kind of thing. You know, when a fragrance becomes sour and, you know, tart, it gives this sharpness and perhaps it gives you like, you know, more of like an uplifting experience. Even though these uh, citruses are definitely uplifting, I felt like the the fact that they're this particular one is not overly tart or sour gives it a, a little bit more of a coziness and comforting, uh, you know, factor about the fragrance. It's, it's not like an uplifting fragrance, but... It, I mean, it is. I'm, I'm saying it's not like this big blast, this big boost of energizing uh, tartness. But you know, this one does have some zinginess, so it gives us a little bit of an energizing kind of a boost throughout the wearing experience. That ginger definitely comes in, so it does have a little bit of a bite, but it's not like an 
like a like a, a strong bite. It's it's a you know minimal bite that kind of you know adds a, a unique uh, twist to the fragrance. And the fact that it's not all citruses and you do have some other stuff happening uh, in the fragrance that you're experiencing when you're wearing it. The fragrance does boil down to a vetiver, like it dries down to a vetiver. So there's a grassiness there, some aromatic woody touches there. And I think the vetiver and the lemons do, you know, complement one another perfectly. It's not an overdose of vetiver. It's more citruses, but again, sweeter citruses and a sweeter kind of a lemon. So uh, I don't know, because for me, I should say lemons are always tart, you know? I use lemons in cooking. Being from the Mediterranean, lemons are like one of our prized fruits. So lemons are pretty used a lot in my upbringing and I think it's a prized fruit for me and I experienced lemons to be tart you know sour so I don't get that here so there's somehow they're giving us a much sweeter version of it again it's not like ultra sweet like the other two that we're going to talk about but it's not like an ultra tart I was thinking something like perhaps Oda Adrian from uh, Anik Gutal or Gutal Paris or even Aqua Viva from Perfumum Roma where they go like really tart and I like that and that tartness and the sourness really really cuts through the humid uh, hot weather and you know heat in the summertime and this for me I think it's just going to be like, okay, it's, it's a, you know, a nice lemon, pleasant lemon scent, a little bit like lemon drops and things like that. So that's my thoughts on lemon from the fruit collection from Dolce & Gabbana. Let me know if you've tried this one. Let me know if you're curious to try the lemon and then we're moving on to the orange. So Dolce & Gabbana's fruit collection orange is another 2021 launch. And as I said, both of them were created by Jerome Epinay. This orange, I would call more of a citrus aromatic, whereas Lemon did have aromatic touches. Here we experience it more. And here also, it does get a little ambery in the dry down. And also a little, there's a lot more happening with this particular fragrance in comparison to this one. So I'm kind of going in, in the direction of the wearing and how complex the fragrances are. Lemon seems to be the least complex. Pineapple seems to be the most complex. And, man or, and, and orange is right in the middle. So citrus aromatic, Jerome Epinay perfumer. Notes are orange, bergamot, basil, orange blossom, iris, amber, and musk. Yes, you experience the amber in the dry down. You also experience powdery touches in the dry down. But upon initial spray, it's all about the oranges and the bergamot. So the combination is nice. And here, it does get a little sweeter than the, uh, the first uh, fragrance in the collection, the lemon. And as I said, this one's not so tart that I was expecting it, but it's also not overly sweet. Here, it does get a little sweeter. So of course, oranges in comparison to lemons are definitely sweeter. It's ones that we can just eat, you know, from the fruit. Uh, but um, people have a challenging time eating lemons like that. So uh, I make sense that this particular fragrance is uh, it's uh, definitely uh, much more sweeter than the the previous fragrance but you know you experience the, the basil touches you experience the amber of course and I, I personally think that oranges mandarin oranges there is something ambery about it uh, you know as a, as a fragrance there's a sweetness about it uh, the color and all that kind of thing uh, kind of Complements, I think the orange touches in this fragrance complements the ambery dry down in this fragrance uh, Not to venture off too much, but uh, Hermes has a mandarin orange uh, Fragrance with amber Mand mandarin ombre. I think it's what it's called So I felt like that fragrance really does complement the fruit and the amber touches and here it definitely touch uh, You know complements as well, but you're definitely experiencing the aromatic touches the green basil touches And I like basil in fragrances. It doesn't really nicely complement citruses for some reason in here It does so it does add some green touches to the fragrance um, so there is a spiciness with this fragrance as well. Of course, it comes in from the, um, what do you call it, the, the basil note. But of course, the orange blossom comes in as well. And here, it really does complement the orange, uh, the fruit, because you know it's from the same uh, uh, tree after all. So you've got the orangey white flower, touches of the orange blossom in the heart, along with the, you know, the juicy blast of the orange at the top. 
but of course don't forget this does get musky ambery and of course there's powdery touches as well it's still a fresh fragrance but this one in comparison to the lemon one does get a little deeper and richer as it's drying down so those are my thoughts on the dng collection fruit collection orange fragrance and last but not least the most complex out of the three is pineapple this one is created by marie salamagna uh, part of the fruit collection and i would call this uh, a fruit i guess i would call it a fruity fragrance i mean it's not necessarily i'm going to call it a fruity floral for this one because lots of fruits obviously the pineapple is ultra fruity it's a little tropical and then of course uh, there's floral touches in here of the jasmine sandback as well so this is a 2021 launch notes features pineapple mandarin orange jasmine sandback vanilla oak moss amber orchid so as you can see from the notes it's a lot more complex than the previous ones and it definitely does I mean, you experience the complexity of this one when you're wearing it. Also, you're experiencing a lot sweeter fragrance. When we started out with the lemon, it was the most tart, still not tart to me. It was definitely a sweet tart experience, but here it's a lot sweet, like it's overdose of sweetness. And the pineapple in here, I feel like, is definitely the mature type the one that has all the drippiness you know when you cut into it it's like ripe like extremely ripe and those are the ones that have the most fragrance you know and that's the kind of pineapple i'm experiencing here with this one really a fragrant pineapple so it's sweet and fruity and tropical but once again here with this one it gets warmer as you're wearing it you're experiencing the flowers the jasmine sandback which is nice i think it complements the uh the pineapple at the top along with the mandarin orange but in the heart you're experiencing the vanilla this one does get sweet and the fact that the pineapple is also ripe and sweet sweet um, along with the vanilla it becomes a sweet experience but you know what this is not a, a tooth rottingly sweet kind of a fragrance just it's definitely the sweet experience but you're experiencing warm touches here you're experiencing ambery touches Probably I can also go to the extent of calling this one an oriental floral, maybe fruity oriental, something like that, because definitely you're experiencing the oriental touches with the vanilla and then of course the amber. There is a little bit of a mossy touch in here, a little bit, from that oak moss, but I'm going to let you know my favorite is the pineapple. And the reason the f my favorite is the pineapple is I'm obsessed with pineapple cocktails. I think pineapple juice is one of my favorite things to drink. I don't drink it a lot, but when I'm at a bar, the, one of the first things I check is, do they have a cocktail made with pineapple juice? If they don't, then I move on to something like a, a Negroni or gin tonic or something. But I'm obsessed with pineapples. I think it's a great, great fruit. Um, it's just uh, here, they've done a great job. I think Marie Salamagna has done a great job with creating this beautiful, fruity, tropical, warm uh, fragrance, you know? It's almost like laying under the sun and you've got your cocktail with loads of pineapple and it warms up under the sun and you're smelling it kind of thing, you know? It's not boozy, so don't don't think that this is boozy. There's no booziness here. Just a warm, ambery, uh, oriental touch with the pineapple. So this is my favorite, not only because it, I like pineapples, but I like its complexity in comparison to the other fragrances. Now to the bad part about these fragrances, I felt like they're very light wears, you know? They wear very, very light. So that's the bad part about this fra these fragrances. The, the most intense out of the three is the pineapple because of its complexity, but um, all three of them were very light to me, and I feel like they would actually be perfect when it's warm outside, when, uh, you know, the type of situation calls for a lighter fragrances. But just be warned, the, the sweet one, the sweetness in this one might get cloying in the heat. So I would say control your sprays or test first. But I think the orange and the citrus of lemon would be perfect to wear in the summertime. But just, just be warned, I think the, the fact that these are eau de toilettes, they wear light, they're definitely designer fragrances. Uh, we're not breaking any new ground with these fragrances even though I knew that's what I was going to get with these fragrances. I was kind of really excited about these caps. As you can see, I really love the caps. But, you know, I do want to also, one, one more thing I want to say 
And I do want to, you know, here, here's how the bottles look right here. They're fun. They're fun caps. But you know what? They gave us really cool caps with these fragrances, but they give us the ugliest bottles. When you remove the caps, they're just really, really basic, generic Dolce & Gabbana bottles. You know, they use these bottles probably in a lot of their fragrances. But, uh, I don't know. Visually, in images, when I was looking at the bottles, because I didn't go smell these anywhere, I, I blind bought them. Visually, when you look at them, they look a little nicer, a little more um, classy. But, and even though they do here, they just, I feel like the bottle itself is a little generic, you know? I wish they gave us a little something more unique with the bottle to complement the cap. But I don't know, that's just what they gave us, and this is what we have. So, um, I, I like the fragrances. I don't love them too much, but I, I really do like the pineapple. It's a nice change of pace from wearing citruses and things like that. You know, you're used to the citrus of lemon and then of course the orange, but we don't get a lot of pineapple fragrances out there. So I think this is a breath of fresh air as far as the pineapple fragrance goes. And since it is, I think personally, these are more summery kind of fragrances. And I think perhaps if they made these fragrances out of parfum i think this might have gotten a little more cloying as an ex wearing experience so perhaps it makes sense that they you know created them as eau de toilettes but i would have preferred something a little more beefy in all three of them but anyway those are my thoughts on dolce and gabbana's fruit collection pineapple dolce and gabbana's fruit collection orange and then finally dolce and gabbana's fruit collection lemon let me know what you think about these fragrances have you tested them out yet what do you think about the bottles? Do you like the caps? Do you like the bottles themselves? Do you hate them? And do they sound great to you? Would you actually go out and search for them to test them out to see how they smell? Let me know. Put a comment down so I can find out. Also, um, if you haven't caught my uh, video from yesterday, it's all about uh, updates to the channel and questions about the channel and, of course, my videos and uh, uh, reviews that you guys have been asking are all answered and also also there's 10 no 12 giveaways in that video um, so go catch it do your best answer you can so that you can qualify and make sure you're publicly subscribed a lot of you are saying you're publicly subscribed but I'm looking at your account and YouTube's reporting doesn't say that you are publicly subscribed so obviously you can't uh, qualify for the giveaways so anyway guys thanks so much for watching today's video if you have any questions or comments please list below Otherwise, please like this video, please share it, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. <laughs>